Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Robbie. So today I am back again with another video and today I have my friend here, Jaren. Hey. And today we're gonna to be doing our everyday makeup routines and just kind of talk about the things that we use on our face as men in makeup. Yeah. And I'm all about men in makeup. So, and he's one of my very close friends and his makeup is bomb. So I just wanna, I just want y'all to really see. <laughs> yes. Thank you, bitch. But I just wanna do this video just to open people's eyes to be more like open-minded. Yeah. You know, because I feel like a lot of people need to be more open-minded, especially with the way people think, feel like women only wear makeup. But we are here to show you that men also wear makeup, even and though we, we bust down. and we buzz down, honey. <laughs> <laughs> but my biggest thing about 2020 is I want to inspire people to be comfortable with themselves, be comfortable with the things that they do. So if you do makeup, if you dress a certain way, baby, do you. That's the moral of the whole story. Anyways, with no further ado, let's get into the video. What are some things that y'all um, think about or what y'all do when y'all do makeup videos? Cause I personally like to listen to like music. I like to listen to like music and stuff when I'm um, doing my makeup. Or sometimes I watch like other YouTubers like Arnell. Um, I don't. It's, I don't know what her and her sister. I think it's Alyssa and Arnell. Yeah. And I also watch like He Flawless and um, Star Milan. Those are like my. Yeah, those are like my favorites exactly. And I watch other people on YouTube like. Um, damn, who's I been watching lately? I watch Jackie Ina. I love Jackie. <laughs> yes, I live for Jackie. Jackie, 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 Jackie. Period. So like I aspire to be those people because they are very successful youtubers yeah. and they really do put a lot into their craft um we have a broken mirror y'all it's <laughs> <laughs> it was an accident i swear i was like Fuck, I just <laughs> mirror. it was it was so fucking sad and then his friend jazz came in broke the other one a little bit more like fuck <laughs> But um, what are we gonna start off with? This is the makeup I use. It's by um, IL Makeage. And the way I got this foundation is if you go on this website, you fill out this survey and you can actually get your skin matched to your foundation. And they actually sent me this foundation. I didn't do any swatches or anything for this foundation, but they sent it to me and it's a really good match. Yeah, that's probably gonna be the foundation I use today. As far as mascara, um, I use this one. My mom got me this one. It's wet and wild. I can't tell you like the details about makeup. I can just tell you what I use. I kind of use the same stuff a lot as far as makeup. And I don't know if we're wearing lashes today. Are you putting on lashes? Yeah, I'm putting on lashes. Yeah. I'm gonna let um, Jaren introduce himself and tell you a little bit more about him so you can go ahead and speak. Okay. Well, yeah. Today, I'm gonna, well, I kind of, I just wanna see how y'all do y'all makeup because I feel like there's no wrong way to make up. Like, yeah. as long as it turn out the way you wanted it to turn out, exactly. then you did it correctly. So I wanna see that. Yeah, and I like to see different ways people do makeup because the way I do makeup which may not be the way you do makeup. Yeah. You literally learn so much watching other people do it. And like, you see the way that they do certain things. Like people might uh, fill in their eyebrows a little bit more differently than you do or yeah. a little bit different than I do. So it just, I just feel like it's good to always look at different perspectives of things. And it can definitely help you in anything that you do. That's sure. true. And I guess the first thing I'm gonna start off with is um, brushing out my eyebrows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I already started on my eyebrows cause like it takes me a while to like do mine because like um, mm -hmm. but his eyebrows be on fleek y'all he, he be giving me so much life i'll be here for it and i'm trying to get him to make a youtube channel and start getting into his makeup <laughs> a little bit more because i feel like all the makeup looks that you do those should be shared with the world like oh, seriously you. you're welcome bitch. i'm all about um inspiring people and like, bitch, I feel like you definitely have the personality for it. Like, and you just never know what God can bless you with at the end of the day. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay, so I just brushed my eyebrows, so I need to fill them in now. Oh, did you bring the, let me see the oh, eyes. Me, I use dip brow a lot as well. I bounce back and forth between dip brow and pencil, but today I'm gonna use pencil. I got I love pencil. Dollar Tree for a dollar. Um, so the pencil that I'm gonna be using, um, I don't know if it's like even a name on it, like, 
But my friend um, Tiana gave me this one and it works really good. It's just a dark brown. Yeah. Um, when I do my makeup, I tend to go toward, more towards like brown pencils than black pencils because I feel like dark browns don't look good on me. Yeah. So I kind of try to be light with the brown as well. Me, I use color made. Well, like originally, like when I started, I used like a, like it's just like a light brown pencil from e.l.f. It's called, Neutral, neutral brown. But like, I pretty much already outlined them. I want like sharpness, so I use this one from Color Mate. And then, yeah, it's black brown. Is it like a really dark brown or? It is, you have to be extremely like light on your hand. Mm -hmm. But like, I use it for like my tail. Cause like, I don't know if y'all run into this problem, but like when your tail is not as sharp as you would like to, that's why you with this, you might be able to catch it. But when I do my eyebrows, I tend to try to make the end of it more darker than the like beginning of it, if that makes any sense. So today it's gonna be like a natural look for me. So I'm not, I usually use like NARS for like my concealer. But I'm going with Pro Concealer. I, um, as far as the foundation, I was gonna use this one, the IL Makeage. And then um, my concealer is Maybelline New York and this color is in 45. I can't even read this. I'm so blind, it don't even make sense. I think this color is tan. tan. Uh, yeah, I think it's tan. Does it say tan? Mm. Okay, so yeah, I have this in Maybelline New York um, shade 45 tan. It's gonna go on like just like a flat brush. Just do like my eyebrows. I'm just gonna start concealing. Now, like, I'll fill in like at like a like my knees, like adjustments. And when I do my eyebrows, I try to like do like kind of could like color it in like right here. But most of this right here is gonna get blended out at the end. And literally, he does his eyebrows like slower than I do. So like, I literally do my, I can literally do my makeup like under 10 minutes. So yeah. So this would be my eyebrows without any concealer or anything like that. The brush that I use for my concealer is this brush by Morphe, um, right there. So yeah, this and the brush is called M165. And I will go in with my Maybelline Concealer in 10. And then I'm gonna go underneath my eyebrow. So I kind of write a, do a straight line with the concealer, then I go right underneath the arch and then go and make the shape of the eyebrow. I try to be real careful with this because you can easily mess up the, the brow with the concealer. You do, definitely do not want your eyebrows to like look two different shapes. First impression, you OPN, we should be close to I kind of want y'all to see why I'm doing this. And today we are going to, we're, we're going to the movies. We're going to the movies. So I'm going to be vlogging that and that will be a part of the vlog that I'm probably going to upload tomorrow. If you haven't already, go watch my last video of us working out. We went mm -hmm. and worked out at the gym. It was We had a really good workout. We're actually going to the gym today again. So I might have a little bit of clips of us working out in the vlog tomorrow. Okay. So that is a blended out brow. And then I'm gonna go in with the concealer one more time and do the other eyebrow. It feels good to like get out of my comfort zone a little bit yeah. and like do get into makeup a little bit. Cause a lot of my viewers are actually men and I'm pretty sure some of them do makeup. So you could probably come to my channel and get a little bit of everything. Sorry y'all, my mama called. <laughs> <laughs> 
send it under, and I just need to go over it. Um, this one's a little thicker than this one, but I'll fix that. What was I talking about before my mama called? She was talking about just like that. Okay. Like viewers from different so as far as my viewers, I really just wanna, you know, show my viewers that you can be anybody that you wanna be. You can do all the things that people tell you that you can't do. Mm -hmm. And I just want people to come to my channel and be comfortable with themselves, Yeah. you know? Even though I didn't want my channel to ever be like about makeup, you know, specifically, I feel like branching out into new things isn't bad. So this brow is also done. So the little technique that I do as far as like blending out the concealer part is like, I will go in with the brush. Just to like blend out the beginning part of it. Okay. okay, so those would be like my everyday makeup brows. I just hurry up. Oh my God. <laughs> I do it so slow, like I really just Your be like, brows. very like particular about my brows. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just take so long for anything. Like my, my I don't know why like, I grabbed the, the mascara because I'm not even on that step yet. <laughs> my mom said I move like my Uncle Johnny. <laughs> like he used to move so slow. <laughs> I'm so dead. I literally move just as slow as that. So um, I'm going in with this um, foundation. And I normally do like one, like half of one pump. Like, so I wouldn't squeeze it all the way down, if that makes sense. I wouldn't squeeze the pump all the way down. I would just squeeze it like halfway. And I start off with my nose and then I would kind of dot it around. And then I just blend it out. I feel like this is a really good match for my skin color. Yeah. I don't know why it's so hard for me to find a good foundation that can match me. That's mm -hmm. why I always kind of stick to uh, Maybelline Fit Me mm -hmm. um, in my shade. This is like my perfect shade and it is 358. Mm -hmm. And this is Latte. You can get these from like Walmart, CVS, Walgreens. But normally if I get, um, a foundation that's a little too um, light, I will mix it in with a darker foundation and then try to even it out that way. Or I would just put just a tad coat of it instead of putting a lot of it. You can, I feel like you can always kind of make makeup work. You just have to know how to do it. Yeah, definitely. So I kind of try to blend down to my neck as well. Like right underneath my beard. This is the problem I'm using. It's called First Aid Beauty Fab. Ooh. Now I'm gonna move quick because my brow is messy. <laughs> and I try to spend a lot of time blending because, yeah. girl, it makes a difference. Because yeah. <laughs> when you don't keep blending, girl, and then somebody try to clock you. <laughs> oh <my goodness. laughs> but yeah, make sure y'all take y'all time blending out y'all makeup. I feel like I kind of need to blend out my brows a little bit more. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is go in with my concealer right underneath my eyes. So I will put that much and I will go down my nose um, on my forehead and like right at the top of my mouth. I don't I don't put concealer right here on my chin because I feel like it just doesn't look good on me personally. So yeah, I feel like just do your makeup the way you want to what's comfortable for you. I'm gonna um, blend out the concealer. And the foundation I use is by Fenty. 
and I'm in shade 390. Oh girl, I cannot wait until I can afford Fenty because I heard too much good things about it. Yeah. Um, I've been using it for a while because I don't wear makeup that much. Uh huh. So I get last I'm starting to touch back into my makeup roots because I stopped wearing makeup for the longest time. And then I started back wearing makeup like I think just a couple of months ago. Mm. It's a little orange, but like when it oxidizes, you see on that. But I'm really wanting to start to find my shades in the LA color concealers because mm -hmm. the LA color concealers are really good concealers. And the last time that I used those concealers was when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. and that was a while ago. Like Pro Conceal, this one I use. Pro Conceal works really, really good. Is that the one you use underneath your eyes? Mm -hmm. Cause I mean, me and him are not too much apart as far as our skin colors, so mm -hmm. maybe his concealer can work on me. So which color do you use, or which shade do you use? Mm -hmm. Where is it? Okay. Oh, I use the color Fawn. Mm -hmm. Okay, I might. I don't get that color though. Fine looks fine. Period. <laughs> My concealer is blended out now. And then I'm gonna go in with the Aerospawn setting powder. And I don't put too much of this at all. It makes too much of a mess. And I really do hate it. But I would just do like a small dab of it and kind of dust off the excess. So yeah, this makes too much, too much of a mess, but I will go underneath my eyes with this or wherever I put the concealer. So it would look something like this. Yeah, I don't use um, a lot of that powder at all because it can make you look a little ghosty. But, uh, I just go dust it off as quick as possible. The doors open, take the hot road and hop in. First impression, you OPN. We should be closer to friends. If you open. So I will go in with this. This is the Maybelline New York Master by Face Studio Bronze. And you can already tell which color I use the most. <laughs> Cause baby, it's done hit pan. And these like this second color, this one like right here. I never use this one, but I use this sometimes for highlight. But most of the time I use this to contour. My contour is Truffle and Fenty. And I just use this color to bring a, the color right back into my face because using those powders and the concealer and everything can make your face look washed out. I like using like a stick and then going back in with like a powder. Mm -hmm. Is that, the fit, is that the fancy um, concealer? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. contour. contour. So I so I kind of <laughs> go in with this color a lot, just to make sure that I bring color back into my face. Open up, tell you let your emotions fall on me. Open up. So then after that, I will go in with this color for underneath my eyes where my concealer was. With that same brush. For my nose contour to blend it out, I like to like use a brush mm -hmm. for like precision. And then um, I'm gonna go in with this Contour Duo by Nick, Nick it? What is this? Nick Nick New York, um, it's this. So yeah, I'm just gonna use this darker color right here. That one's only like two dollars. It's not as good at all. So we'll go in around my face just to bring more color into my face. I should have went a little darker on my foundation. That's okay. I feel like it's, it looks good. It's a good match. Yeah. I like to use a lot of powders on my face because my skin is really oily, so. If my makeup looks oily, it doesn't look good. So I use Laura. Laura, I see her. Curious. <laughs> the color. Oh, yeah, it's just translucent powder. <laughs> <laughs> I better like, like natural. 
Okay, so I'm going in with this um mascara. Honestly, this make this mascara does its job. Like I love it. I'm trying to sit at a point so where y'all can see it too. This mascara is really good. Like I love me a good dark mascara. Oh shit. Uh oh no. Oh my god. I fucking hate when that happens. Okay, I fixed her. Mm -hmm. That should be tragic. Exactly, I'll be so mad. I'm just gonna take this brush by B Mall, BS Mall. And like, it was cheap. I got like a whole set for like $12 in a bag Ooh. on Amazon. Oh wow. And they're like pretty soft. I need to get, um, I need to get me a new set of like makeup brushes. For sure. I didn't even tell y'all which um, brush I used for my foundation. It was this brush and it is by um, Rose Golden. Um, this is actually uh, one of my friend's brush that she let me use. Kinda gonna go in on my eyebrow and kinda blend out the brow a little bit more. I'm gonna go back in with this um, spoolie just to brush out the brow. Impression. Bitch, I'm so glad we did this video. Mm -hmm. Like, this is such an exciting video. Yeah. I get so quiet in my zone. Like, I'm like yeah, I'm like, same. Cause like, I just be trying to focus so I don't be messing up. Yeah. So I think just for like dramatic purposes, I might put on a little bit of highlight. I'm gonna go in with this color right here. And this one is was from the uh, master by Face Studio by Maybelline. So I'm just gonna do like two taps of that and then I'm gonna go on one cheek and then go on the other. Oh and girl, before I fucking forget, I gotta contour my nose. Can you pass me the uh, contour tool? Yeah, I don't know who I thought I was skipping the nose contour. But I'm gonna go in with the same brush that I use for my um, brows. And I'm just gonna go in with that darker shade right here to contour the nose. Bitch, that is a good contour. Mm -hmm. I've been using that like, since honestly like I started using like makeup. Yeah. It's been all over like, Girl, but it's good, like. Yeah, it's like walking up, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay. Period. <sighs> and I'm all about saving money. I will use something until the end. Yeah. Okay, so I contoured my nose. I'm probably gonna go in with a little bit more contour. Just to define my nose, just a little bit more. Do you have setting spray? I do. So I'm probably just gonna um, spray my face so I can get the powdery look away and kind of melt everything together. And then lastly, I would go in with um, with Aquaphor. And I love this. This is actually better than Carmax. So if you're using Carmax, baby, throw it away. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> because this works so good. Yeah. Like it's so good. Since um, I was put onto this girl, I can't turn back. Like it just gives you like a really natural tint to your lips. So y'all really, this is my everyday makeup routine. Um, this would be what I will wear on a daily. I'm gonna get in closer. So yeah. I normally just do my eyebrows the same. Um, my eyebrows are probably about the easiest thing that I really do. So, um, the last thing for my face, I'm gonna go in with the NYX. And this is the NYX Professional Makeup Dewy Finish Setting oh Spray. I'm highlight it right now. Okay. Oh wait, hold on, I didn't wanna spray. I use Hustler Baby. I'm not using the right brushes right now, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more mascara. 
Cause I really do like a really good color mascara. If I could choose not to wear anything foundation or concealer wise, I would just wear mascara on a daily. Cause I feel like just um, putting on like mascara or lashes can really make a difference. Yeah. The setting spray really does bring a powdery look together. Cause when you have like so much powders, like I use this, this is a powder. Um, this is a powder. Like all of these are just powders that I put on my face and setting spray can just make it look dewy mm -hmm. and put together. I think the only thing that I used liquid wise was my um, foundation and my concealer. And um, yeah, that was about it. I normally use the Aerospun powder. This is kind of like the only powder that I use as far as setting my concealer wise. But I'm actually gonna start getting into something else, something more translucent. Yeah. Cause I feel like this can sometimes make my makeup look washed out, especially in pictures. So yeah, if, um, so I always feel like it's good to always try to lean more towards a translucent powder than one that actually has a color to it. Depending on how you like your makeup, a lot of times people don't like a flashback. Yeah, that's why I use it. Pretty much done. Mm -hmm. My makeup. Which I really do like it. Period. Uh, the highlight is everything. Like Fenty, Rihanna did her thing with this. Like, she really did. Like, oh my gosh, I can tell that she really took her time with her craft, like how everything is just so perfect. Cause literally all the people that I came in, came across, they never complain about Fenty. I'm really much done. I'm pretty much done too. I just gotta blend out my brows, put on um, mascara, lashes, and I'm pretty much done. Yes, and we're about to get ready to have us a whole good day. And we're gonna go watch a movie and I'm gonna vlog that. But to be honest y'all, the only reason why I didn't use this foundation today was because um, I really do like this one because this one is more full coverage. This one gives me what I want, but this one just gives me a little bit more than what I want. Yeah. And I like that. And this one is more oxidizing. This one stays like the same color throughout the day. Um, this one gets darker throughout the day. And um, I'm actually a lot out of this. Like it's literally like this much in here. It's not a lot in here, but I keep this because I'm not throwing it away until all of it is gone. Period. Cause baby, I'm all about saving some coin. I like mm -hmm. to go in cause like powders and stuff, like you want to get like all that powder and stuff off so I can see it. Mm -hmm. And then I just go like that. Yeah. that. You put that on before the mascara? Yeah. Well, this is mascara. It's just a, like a clear one. Uh -huh. like, like a good base, I would say. Okay. I use CoverGirl Lash Brow. Covergirl Lash Blast Volume. I'm branching off to Ulta because Ulta has a lot of deals to me. Mm -hmm. That's um, true. And um, last time I was in there, I got the Morphe Brow Pencil for like $5. And then they also added like little more, like extra free stuff into my bag. Yeah. yeah. Bitch, I love that. I'm pretty much done. Yeah. That's everything. Yes, girl, we look the fuck good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then just like for my lips, I just use this. I got from Beauty What is that? It's called Hydro Lip Therapy Treatment Gloss. It's like a hydrating lip gloss. Mm -hmm. like, it's like glossy, but it's like very hydrating for your lips. Oh, okay. <laughs> <I'm dead. laughs> so yes guys, this was the our everyday makeup routines. I hope you guys like this video. Um, I just wanted to do this video just to show y'all what we both do personally for our makeup routines. And I feel like we can just learn so much from each other. Yeah. So like, I really wanted to do this video so y'all can learn something about us and me also learn something from you yeah. and vice versa. So, cause I'm all about constructive criticism at the end of the day. Yeah. So yes, guys, um, if this is your first time watching me, please give this a big thumbs up. You will not be disappointed. I will have Jaren's um, social media down below and so you can go follow him and i'm gonna actually get him to make a youtube channel because he really does need to make one y'all like who doesn't love him he's so adorable he's so cute and he has a personality that needs to be known like period so you welcome <laughs> but yes guys um i hope y'all have a good day and bitch in the video yes it was so much nice meeting y'all i'm so glad i got this Y'all, please give this a, a good thumbs up and subscribe. Yes, feel free to follow me on social media. And yeah.
Alrighty, y'all have a good one. See y'all guys later. Bye. Bye.